Hi, I'm Ryan Ronander. I'm a solutions architect at Linbit. In this video, we will be discussing DRBD Reactor and why we created it. This video will lean on a basic understanding of DRBD and other high availability concepts. DRBD Reactor is a simple cluster resource manager developed here at Linbit. It's intended for use as a lightweight alternative to the more traditional pacemaker-based HA software stack. Because high availability and fine-grained service management is a complex topic, Pacemaker is a very robust and complex solution. When deploying Pacemaker, the implementation process can often be very overwhelming and time-consuming. Over the years here at Linbit, we saw multiple use cases where a tool such as DRBD Reactor would be greatly preferred. Please note, the Pacemaker has been an excellent component of the Linux HA stack, and it is much more flexible than DRBD Reactor. We don't view Reactor as a true rival to Pacemaker. Rather, there are many simple HA scenarios where the reduced complexity and straightforward design of DRBD Reactor proved to be a better tool for the task. Here's how DRBD Reactor works. We split Reactor into a core component with an extensible plugin architecture. Reactor's core is responsible for collecting events from DRBD resources processing those events, and sending them to the plugins. Think of these messages as simple state changes that can be acted upon by the different plugins. Reactor has multiple plugin types, which we will dive into shortly. These plugins also provide the functionality for HA service management. Again, we wanted to keep DRBD Reactor as simple as possible. There isn't even cluster communication between Reactor instances. Instead, DRBD itself already provides enough information to make cluster-wide decisions. Reactor simply relies on DRBD's existing features, such as quorum and resource promotability. Diving into the various plugins for DRBD Reactor, first up is the debugger plugin. This one is the least exciting, but it helps you see what information is being passed to the other plugins. You wouldn't use this in production. It's just a stream of messages and not very exciting. Next is the user mode helper plugin. Some experienced DRBD users will know that DRBD, yes, the part in the Linux kernel, can call user-defined helper scripts when certain events occur. Over time, users implemented new and creative ideas by calling their own personalized helper scripts. For example, users could run a script that sends a Slack message whenever a DRBD resource loses its connection. This is just one example of how the user mode helper plugin can be used. Next is the Prometheus plugin. This plugin provides a Prometheus-compatible endpoint that exposes various DRBD metrics, including any out-of-sync bytes, current resource roles and connection states, etc. These metrics can then be used in any monitoring solution that supports Prometheus endpoints, and we also provide a Grafana dashboard template. Last is the Promoter plugin. This is one of the most important plugins as it enables HA functionality. This plugin's task is simple. If a DRBD resource can be promoted, promote it to primary, and then start a set of user-defined services. If one or more nodes detect that they can promote a DRBD resource, they all race to promote it to primary. However, only one node can be promoted, and when that happens, the other nodes stand down and remain in a secondary state. They're now waiting on the sidelines in case of a failover. In a production environment, the sequence of events for promotion would look similar to the following. First, promote the DRBD resource to primary. Next, mount the virtual block device to a defined mount point. Then, create a virtual IP address. And finally, start a database service with databases located at the mount point. If DRBD loses quorum on a node, Reactor stops any running services so that another node with quorum can start the services. The Promoter plugin also supports Pacemaker's OCF resource agents and custom failure actions. We developed the Promoter plugin for multiple reasons. Since DRBD already has a notion of quorum, we wanted to avoid having multiple concepts of quorum within a cluster. DRBD itself already knows best where it has good data and which nodes can be promoted. To compare DRBD Reactor to the complexity of Pacemaker, the core of Reactor's Promoter plugin is approximately only 100 lines of code. The Promoter plugin shifts all decision-making and complexity to other existing components, such as DRBD's quorum and systemd. In an abstract way, you can even think of DRBD Reactor as an elaborate systemd management engine, making changes to systemd services and targets on each system to achieve high availability. DRBD Reactor is also used and integrated with other products here at Linbit. For example, Reactor is used to make LinStore's controller highly available, 
reactor is also used with Linstar Gateway and Limbit vSAN, enabling highly available iSCSI, NFS, and NVMe over fabrics deployments. When compared to a typical pacemaker stack, DRBD Reactor reduces complexity at the price of flexibility. With Reactor's small code base, it relies on functionality from well-tested and widely used software components such as DRBD for Quorum, as well as Systemd for service management. Again, we developed DRBD Reactor to be as lightweight as possible. Whether you're interested in using DRBD Reactor for simplified cluster resource management, or you're using it behind the scenes in another product of ours, we hope you've learned a little bit more about DRBD Reactor, why we developed it, and how it works. You can learn more about DRBD Reactor with the information available on our website, and everything will be linked in the video's description below. On our website, you can find user's guides, blog posts, as well as a tech guide walking you through how to deploy MariaDB using DRBD Reactor. Also, feel free to reach out to us on our community Slack channel, and thanks for watching.